Hi guys, I'm iOS Helpdesk, and in this video I'll be showing you how to install games onto your GBA for iOS emulator. Now, I will also be showing you how to sync uh, both of these emulators, so GBA for iOS and NDS for iOS, with Dropbox, which will allow you to save your game progress, so whenever one of these emulators gets revoked, uh, and you find another working version of this emulator, you will sync it back with Dropbox, and what will happen then is all your... Uh, game saves will upload and you will be able to continue playing uh, from the same place that you left off with. So, anyway guys, without further ado, let's begin. First you want to enter GBA for iOS and you want to tap the cog icon and then you want to go to the uh, home page tab. Then you want to type this exact uh, HTTP into the, um, the custom home page uh, thingy. Uh, once you do that, you can go back, and the link to the the HTTP will be in the description below. Um, so just type it in, copy and paste. Then you want to go to the magnifying glass, tap it, and you want to go down until you see Game Boy Advance. And you want to select the letter of the game which you want to download. So for example, Mario Kart, just tap M. Uh, then you want to search for the game which you want. So I don't know, Mario Kart Advance. And then you want to wait for the direct download link. And as you can see, uh, it takes a few seconds until they actually uh, give you the link itself, which is quite annoying, but whatever. Just wait. And there you go, just tap it. Uh, tap download, tap save, and it will begin doing it. So. Just wait for it to download. It's uh, these games don't weigh a lot, so they should be pretty quick. And then just tap the game to open it, and there you are. It will actually begin playing it. Now to sync the uh, GBA uh, with Dropbox, you just wanna tap the cog icon again. You wanna go down until you see Dropbox sync. You wanna tap the Dropbox sync, tap enable, and it will take you to Dropbox. Uh, you will need to just allow it. Authorizing done syncing yeah and it will sync all the saves uh, with your Dropbox so that's how you do it on GBA on NDS it's a bit different but same concept so just the little bars in the top left hand corner then settings uh, then you want to go to enable Dropbox and there you are allow and it will just uh, enable it pretty quickly so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel for more great content, leave me a comment to tell me what you thought of this video and what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.